Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another Eye of Chaos episode, and we are again picking a random investigator, building a chaos deck on Arkham CDP for that investigator, and seeing how well we do with the chaos deck in the Midnight Mass scenario. Uh, as usual, I am playing on standard difficulty and using only the uh, original version of the scenario, so not the return to version. I haven't done one of these videos in a while, uh, but we'll see how this goes. So first off, uh, let's pick our unlucky investigator. So I have all of my investigator tokens in this bag, which haven't uh, yet been used in this uh, series. So. Let's see who our unlucky investigator this time is. Mandy Thompson. So, interesting. Well, uh, I am not using Taboo, so uh, let's get that straight out of the way. So I don't have to build a 50 card chaos deck for her. So I think I will pick the smallest deck size and go from there. But that's... The only, only thing I will do for Mandy's deck. Okay, and we are over on ArkhamCDB.com and let's pick Mandy from here. Where is she? There, in the middle. Okay, so as I said, um, I will pick the th uh, 30 cards and um, I, can I think I have to pick this. So, I'm actually interested in using rogue cards this time. We'll see what happens with that. But we are not using the taboo list, so we'll just push the chaos button here and see what we get. So, let's hope we get a decent deck. Okay, well... <clears throat> Let's see, uh, so first off we have Solano Fragments, mm, <laughs> not that good if we don't have the big hand tech in the deck. Uh, one Cryptic Grimoire, again useless, <laughs> uh, well uh, it has a wild icon at least. Uh, then we have the Dream Diary, well uh, at least this is somewhat useful, not that good. Uh, one Flashlight. That's good. Well, we have a bunch of um, investigation uh, assets going on. Then we have the Occult Lexicon, so this is actually good. This lets us uh, also fight a bit. Uh, Scroll of Secrets, not good. And uh, remember, we are playing this non-taboo, so this uses an action. Uh, then we have a Tool Belt, a useless uh, Charles Ross Esquire. Not that good. And uh, Dr. William T. Mailson. Well, the XP version of this is good, but this is not. Uh, one hyper awareness. This uh, at least boosts our agility to evade and intellect, but that's already five, so not that important. Uh, smoking pipe. Nothing special. 21 or bust. Well, economy card. So, yeah, not, uh, two copies, okay. Uh, anatomical diagrams, no, not good. Uh, one, one copy of Astounding Revelation. Well, Mandy is a seeker who can uh, search for cards from her deck, so that's at least one card that triggers off of that. Uh, captivating Discovery. Well, uh, we really don't need this at all. Uh, Coop the Grace, not good. Decoy, well, might help us if we have a lot of resources so we can evade stuff. Bostian Bargain, well, economy card, yeah, that's good. Uh, Ghastly Revelation, mm. yeah, if we are desperate, we can just die. Uh, guidance, no. Intel report, nah. 
No stone unturned. Well, at least Mandy can utilize that a bit. Uh, of course, Mandy's occult evidence. Uh, we are playing the uh, 30 card version, so there should be only one of these. I think, yeah. So we'll change that right away. Uh, quick getaway mm, helps us evade. Slip away, again, evasion, sneak attack, well, at least we have evasion tech, so we can maybe kill something with the sneak attack. Uh, truth beckons could be good in this scenario, and returning the stars, well, not good. And lastly, we have one skill card, which is the daredevil, and it is utterly useless, except for giving us a uh, free shuffle for our deck, and committing for one wild. And let's see what is our weakness. And it is... No, that's... that's. Uh... So we get Lurker in the dark, which we can't get. So I have to reroll that, because that's only a Guardian card, and we can't have Guardian cards. So I'm just... Oh, uh, they changed this so I can have multiples of random basic weakness. Finally they changed that, so... We get Amnesia. Okay, so the basic set a weakness, which will discard our hand, which is bad usually for Seekers. So, uh, that is our Mandy deck. So, next up I will build the deck and we can get started. So, without further delay, let's get building the deck and started. Okay, and we are ready to begin, so I have built the Mandy deck, and uh, we are ready to start, so the deck shuff shuffled, I have my resources, and uh, let's get going, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we get uh, another card because of the weakness, so we get sneak attack, Dr. William T. Mailson, captivating discovery, coup de gras. And Dream Diary. Well, I'm actually keeping the Dream Diary. And uh, the Doctor. That I don't need. I want to keep this in just in case. And this is actually good against the uh, one health cultist, so I'll keep that. So we'll draw one more card, which is the Celan of Fragments, which is utterly useless with this build, but it is what it is, so let's uh, shuffle our deck and start playing, so uh, the goal is to get as many uh, cultists defeated or victory points, so yeah, not having high hopes, but at least we have some ways to deal of dealing damage. Uh, Mandy has a tree evade, so we can try to evade. Uh, the investigation is not a problem with the five intellect. So first off, we'll play the dream diary. So action: search your bonded cast for essence of the dream and add it to your hand. And uh, that is just a double wild skill card, so that is useful if we have the actions. Uh, yeah, I might as well play uh, Dr. William T. Mailson down also and just investigate. So well, we are investigating 5 versus 2. Minus one, we'll grab this clue. And that is it, so... This actually is good because... When you draw an encounter card, exhaust Dr. William T. Melson and place one of your clues onto your location, cancel the drawing of that card and shuffle it back into the encounter deck, then draw a new card from the top of the deck. So if we <coughs> unfortunately pull uh, the Ghoul Priest as our first uh, encounter card next round, 
we can cancel that because now we have a clue. But that is our turn. No enemies will go to upkeep. We draw a flashlight, gain a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom, one of six. Encounter Cardis on Wings of Darkness. Well, just testing this uh, 3 versus 4. Uh, it is a free move, so that's good. So, uh, minus 3, we fail, so we move to a central location, which is this. And we'll take 1 damage and 1 horror, which I can put on to Dr. William T. Mason. Okay. Well, uh, at least we saved an action there. Uh, first action, I'll play the flashlight. Then I will investigate, but I won't use the flashlight. Minus two, so five against uh, three, basically, or uh, three against one, so we'll grab the clue. So uh, we have two clues. Last action, I'll move to the graveyard. And two clues here. Uh, after you enter the graveyard, test will power three. If you fail, you must either take two or, or move to uh, River Town. We don't have anything to commit, so I'm testing three versus three. Oh, yeah, we need uh, charges on the flashlights. Okay, 3 versus 3. Uh, auto fail, so I will take the 2 horror. And that is our turn. No enemies will go to upkeep. Uh, we draw guidance and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another doom. 2 of 6. Encounter card is Acolytes. Okay. I will place the Acolyte to River Town, so the Acolyte gets one Doom on it. Mm. Yeah, we are not advancing next round, but uh, we will definitely try to kill this guy off next round. So it is in River Town. Okay, first action. We'll just investigate 5 versus 1. Skull is a minus one, because there's one Doom on a cultist, but we'll grab the clue. Second action, we'll investigate five versus one. Uh, minus one again, so we'll grab the second clue. I think last action. Uh, I'm actually thinking of trying a different kind of tactic, so I won't spawn any of the cultists yet. Uh, I'll just try to gather as many victory point locations. So we need to go here, here, and possibly here. I I can't remember if there's a victory point there, but at least these two have victory points on them. So we'll try to get those at least. Then maybe spend clues to get the, the cultist at the end. Okay, last action. We'll just uh, draw a card. Uh, written in the stars. Okay. And no enemy actions will go to upkeep. We get smoking pipe, gain a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom, so we have four of six. Encounter card is hunting night god. So this guy engages us immediately. That that wasn't what we hope for, well, um, do I want to cancel that with the William T. Mails? Yeah, I'll take a risk. I'll drop one of my clues, exhaust uh, William T. Mailson. We will shuffle this back into the deck and draw a new encounter card. Okay, and we get Obscuring Fog. Okay, well, that's not that bad. This location has plus two shroud, but we still can just grab the clue, move, and kill this cultist off. 
Okay, first action, we'll use the flashlight. No. I, I think I have some... I'll just commit the guidance. So, six versus three. Minus two. We'll grab the clue again. Second action, we'll move here. This guy engages us. Last action, we will uh, coop the craw, which will end up turn, but that is our last action. So, uh, yeah, just checking this attack does not provoke attacks of opportunity. So, we'll deal one damage to this enemy, and it is defeated. And if it is your turn, and your turn, this action doesn't cause attacks of opportunity. Okay. Yeah, we haven't been able to search our deck once this game, but yeah, we really ha don't have the deck uh, that combos well with Mandy's uh, investigator ability, but it is what it is. Oh yeah, and this is also removed, because we succeeded in investigating. That is our turn. Uh, no enemies will go to upkeep. We get to 21 or bust and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. Uh, 4 of 6 encounter card for this round is Crypt Chill. Okay, well... Um, do I have willpower icons? I think I can just uh, get rid of that dream diary because it's not essential. So I'm testing uh, 3 versus 4. Uh, 0. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't commit anything, but it is what it is. So this is discarded. And that's that. First action will move to the Miscatonic University. Uh, force route, 2 clues. Uh, yeah, so then I will just double investigate here. So investigate using the flashlight. Uh, 5 versus 2. Minus 1. And last action, we'll use the second charge from the flashlight. So 5 versus 2. Uh, minus three, so we barely succeeded in that, but it's enough. Uh, no enemies will go to upkeep. We draw another 21 hour bust and gain a resource, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom, so five of six encounter card is hunting shadows. Uh, you must either choose one, spend one clue, or take two damage. I'll take the damage. So, two damage. Uh, we want to keep all of our clues just in case we need. Uh, we are going to start spawning the cultists soon enough. Okay, first action. Uh, we'll move to north side. And it is a uh, three star location with four, uh, two clues and uh, victory points. So, we want to clear this. Uh, second action I'm investigating. Five versus three. I'll go 6 versus 3, so the minus 3 won't hit us. Uh, minus 0, because skulls are zeros at the moment. Uh, we'll use the last flashlight to investigate 5 versus 1. Minus two. We'll grab this clue. So uh, now we have cleared all the locations with the victory on them, and that is our turn. No enemies. We'll go to upkeep, and we hit uh, amnesia. So unfortunately, our hand is gone, and we are spawning the um, mask hunter next round. So I'll keep one agility icon. 
position at hand. Just so um, uh, we, as we are probably trying to evade it and run away. So we have a agility icon. So yeah, that is that round. We also get the resource, so let's go to the next round. Okay, uh, we add a doom so the agenda advances and we'll get the mass hunter on us. Okay, so mass hunter 4, fight 4, health plus 2 health per investigator, so 6 and to evade that guy is on us. And uh, then we get an encounter card. Oh yeah, and two evade, so we have a good chance of evading. Except we drew another enemy. Uh, do I want to try and get rid of this hunting knight count? No. Okay. We'll just uh, go with this. So we are evading the mass hunter, and I'm committing the 20 more or bust. Uh, we are evading 4 versus 2, 0, thank god, so this guy is evaded, so, so over there, just need to mark this guy, uh, second action, I'm evading the mass hunter 3 versus 1, so again, with this, uh, the uh, minuses are doubled, but we draw 0, so this guy is also evaded. And last action, we are moving out. So uh, let's go to downtown. One clue here. Gain uh, three resources. So that could be a good one uh, for later on in the game. So we'll grab some resources. So we have ways to deal with uh, the. Uh, Victoria Devro that needs resources to be defeated without damage. Okay, uh, no enemy actions. We'll go to upkeep. These guys ready and will go come after me. Uh, we draw a card, anatomical diagrams, and we'll get a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We will add a do one of eight encounter card for this round is locked door. So this location is locked. And that's okay. We don't need to investigate here. Okay, well, um, well, I have the five resources, and I'm, I'm not planning on playing basically anything anymore. So, uh, first action, we'll move to East Town. Uh, two shroud, one clue. Uh, Second action, we'll spawn one cultist, and here are the shuffled cultists, so the top one is Herman Collins. So Herman spawns at the cemetery, which uh, is not that great because we need cards in our hand to go defeat that guy, but we can do that uh, later. Uh, last action, I will spawn another cultist. Root Turner. So Root spawns at the hospital, but uh, again, to defeat her, we need agility icons and a lot of them, uh, which we don't have. So, uh, enemy phase, these guys hunt here. Upkeep, we will draw uh, Charles Ross Esquire, which we won't be using, and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another doom. Encounter card for this round is another locked door. Okay, well, we are not getting these clues either, or this clue, but that's good. We didn't get another enemy. So, first action. Um, I think I'm spawning one more cultist. And after that, no more. So Wolfman, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm going to spawn another one. We really can't defeat Wolfman Drew either, because that that cultist needs damage. Uh, yeah, second action, we'll spend two more clues to spawn another one, and it is Victoria Devro. 
So she spawns at north side. But that's okay, we have resources to defeat her. So last action, we'll move to River Town. Enemy phase, uh, so the Mask Hunter and the Night Gaunt Hunt here. And we'll go to upkeep, we get a tool belt and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom, a 3 of 8, Encounter Cardis, Acolyte. So we'll spawn the Acolyte uh, in your house and forget that that guy exists. So just uh, yeah, running out of enemy markers, so I'll mark it with that. Okay. Um, If we move here, this guy will hunt here and block our path. So we'll have to circle around here uh, later. So this round will move, move, go from Miskatonic University to north side. So the uh, Victoria Devro uh, engages us but we will spend 5 resources to defeat her. So she'll go to the victory display. So one less cultist to deal with. Okay, and that is our turn. Enemy phase, these guys uh, are doing the run around and we'll hunt here. Upkeep, we draw. Uh, shocking discovery. Shuffle shocking discovery back into your deck. If you cannot discard it and draw the top card of the encounter deck instead, forced when you search your deck and discard is among the search cards, discard it, cancel the search and all of its effects. Shuffle search deck, draw the top card of the encounter deck. Okay, well, we just drew it. We didn't search our deck, so that didn't hurt us. Just uh, we didn't get a card this round, but we'll try to get one next round. Okay. And uh, we'll get a resource, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom, 4 of 8, and counter card. Oh. Uh, I mean, 5 of 8, Encounter Card is Mysterious Chanting. And uh, let's count. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this would be the last turn. So we have to. Uh, we don't have any clues. So yeah. That's the end of the game, basically. We have to resign this round. So this guy gets. Uh, well, this is the closest cultist. So gets to do and we don't have time to get a card and go to the graveyard and have an action to defeat uh, Herman Collins because if we had one more turn we could just uh, move 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 take one uh, attack of opportunity or one one hit from uh, Herman Collins uh, in the enemy phase these guys would hunt here and we could uh, the following turn defeat and resign, but it, it's not meant to be, so we will just resign here. Okay, so yeah, the, um, my plan worked basically how I thought it would be. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get the professor here because, uh, or earlier, because we could have used clues to defeat that cultist, but. At least we got uh, three experience from locations and one cultist so four experience total. So uh, yeah, that was uh, okay. Run with the chaos deck with Mandy Thompson uh, again uh, with chaos decks. You never know. We didn't get enough uh, search your deck cards to utilize Mandy's ability 
to search a lot of cards from her deck. So uh, she is definitely an investigator that needs uh, proper deck building to function better. But yeah, uh, hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.